This bed yoga sequence can be done as soon as you wake up. You don't even need to get out of bed. It's perfect for first thing in the morning or after a siesta to stretch away the stiffness of sleep and get you moving about your day with ease. Welcome to Cat Sarah Yoga and enjoy the class. Start in a comfortable lying down position. Begin to move and stretch your body, moving into the space all around you, beginning to awaken. Hug in your knees, rock side to side. You can hold your thighs behind the knees or wherever it feels comfortable and circle your knees, feeling this massaging the lower back against the surface of the bed. You can also do this on your yoga mat if you wish. Coming to centre, exhaling, stretching one leg up to the sky and then the other leg. So we're going to alternate stretching one leg up on the exhale. So we're beginning to work the legs straight, but don't be surprised if they don't go completely straight. Hamstrings are often very tight in the morning after sleep. And this is going to begin to bring some circulation, some blood supply, some flexibility into those muscles, just slowly lengthening them, helping to improve their flexibility. And then breathing naturally, just quickly straightening alternate legs, just really bringing that circulation in. Come to rest with one leg stretched up towards the sky and pulsing at the ankle, pointing and flexing the foot. Then more slowly in time with your breath, inhale as you flex your foot, pressing out through the heel. Exhale as you point your toes. So inhale, flex the foot, exhale, point the ankle, point the toes. Continue with your breath. Observe the changing sensations that you feel. Stretching in the leg. Let's swap legs, straightening out through the left leg instead and pulsing at the ankle as you breathe naturally. Slowing down the movement to be in time with the breath. Inhaling as you flex the foot, press out through the heel. Exhale, point the toes. Changing stretches in the back of the legs. Again, we're lengthening and gently stretching the hamstrings and lots of other muscles in the ankles, feet and legs as well, awakening them. Hug in your knees, having a little rock side to side. And then with one hand on each knee, circling your knees, inhaling as you circle the knees away and exhale, circle them back together. Feel as though you are stirring the hip sockets with the end of the thigh bone. Change directions. Continue with the breath. Waking up the hip joints, lubricating them, bringing fresh blood supply. And then letting go of your feet, let them come down to the surface you're lying on, bring the soles of the feet together and the knees fall open to the sides. And relax everything here in reclined butterfly pose. For a moment, soften and relax into your hips and your belly. And then see what it feels like to engage the core. So draw the tummy and lift the pelvic floor. Using the power of the core, exhale your left knee over to join the right. And then inhale, open the knees again into reclined butterfly. Exhale the right knee to join the left and continue with the breath. Inhaling, opening knees like a book and exhaling. One knee comes over to the side to join the other, feeling a gentle side hip stretch and bringing a gentle twist into the lower back. Continue to use your core to guide the legs. The core is giving the legs the power to move, drawing the tummy in, lifting the pelvic floor and taking your time. So you might find little pauses in that circle of breath as you come into the twist with knees together. Make this the last round and then spread out into a big starfish shape on your bed. Take your left ankle to cross it over the right ankle all the way to the right. 
Take your left arm over to the right side of your body. Take your left wrist in your right hand and use your right hand to draw up on your left wrist, helping to deepen the side stretch all up the left side of the body. Release the stretch to come back into your starfish shape. Cross your right ankle over the left. Use the left hand to draw up on the right wrist, stretching out the right side of the body. Breathe deeply. Release the stretch and roll over onto your front. Have a little wiggle around to get settled here on your front. Arms are out like a T-shape. Bring your left hand in and roll to your right hand side, taking your left foot to the bed just behind the right leg. So you'll get a big shoulder stretch for your left arm, the underneath arm here. You can wiggle that left knee back and forth a little bit just to help work into the stretch and it will also open out through that left hip a little bit as well. Make sure face and jaw stay relaxed. Come back to your front and roll over to the other side. So now the left front of the shoulder and pectoral muscle are getting a big stretch. The right foot comes to the bed just behind the left thigh opening the hips up towards the sky, maybe having a little gentle rock side to side, wiggling that top knee a little bit just to melt into the stretch a little bit more. Come back onto your front. With elbows underneath the shoulders, lift your heart. The forearms are on the mattress on the bed, sphinx pose. Lower yourself back down with hands under shoulders, press up to hands and knees. Widen your knees, big toes together, and sink your bottom down to your heels in hair pose. Stretch your arms out in front of you. Really lengthen your spine, bottom to the heels, fingers reaching forward, neck relaxed, face relaxed. Maybe have a wiggle side to side, settling into the stretch for the sacred iliac area and inner hips and inner thighs. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, draw your tummy in as you slowly roll up to sitting. Come into a comfortable cross-legged seat, sitting up nice and tall. Float your arms up and circle your wrists a few times in each direction. Getting some nice mobility into the joints, waking up the arms and the hands. Let your hands float down to the bed. And inhale as you reach your right arm up. Exhale as you place it back down. On the other side, inhaling up and exhaling down. So at the top of that inhalation, you feel the ribs expanded with the breath, a nice side stretch. And as the exhalation occurs, floating the hand down, let the shoulder be away from the ear. One more round each side waking up your side bodies bring palms to touch on your inhalation reach and lengthen up and exhale as you twist from the base of the spine let your hands float down to the bed inhale back to center reach and lengthen up palms gently to touch exhale twist the other way continue with the breath inhaling back to center as you twist, feel the twist like a spiral staircase rotating up the spine from the base to the tip where it meets your skull. Look out over your back shoulder. You can even look with your eyes to stretch the eyes, awakening them too. Let the hands fall down wherever they naturally settle. Making this the last round, bringing palms to touch, draw them down in front of your heart and then extending forward. So everybody will be different in how far they come forward. I've come quite deeply into this here, but you might not come quite as far as me. You'll feel that stretch more in one buttock than the other. Slowly come back to sitting and change the cross of your leg. Hinging forward at the hips, extending forward onto the bed absolutely fine if your heart is still quite lifted or you haven't gone quite so far here even if it's just a little tip forward at the hips 
and keep thinking of the back of the pelvis lifting the front tipping forward to help get that buttock stretch in one more than the other slowly making your way back up to sitting placing your hands down on the bed with shoulders away from the ears inhale as you circle your chin up and exhaling it down lovely circles for the neck Keep the back of your neck long as you circle the chin up. And the next time that your chin comes down in towards your chest, inhale to circle up the other way and exhaling the chin down. Keep your jaw nice and relaxed. Keep your shoulders away from your ears and keep lengthening all up the back of your body, even if you're sitting on a soft bed. Tilt your head over to the right and take your right hand to the left side of your head drawing up and over not pushing down but drawing up to lengthen the side of the neck release the stretch tilt your head over to the left placing your right hand down and taking your left hand to the right side of the head drawing up and over breathe into the stretch Release the stretch and bring your hands down beside you. Slide them behind you, drawing shoulder blades together. Lift your heart, look up, working into an uplifting back bend. Draw everything back to centre, bring palms to touch. Inhale, reaching your arms up, interlock your fingers, turn your palms towards the ceiling. And exhale, push your palms forward, rounding your shoulders, drop your chin, stretching between the shoulder blades. Inhale, reaching up, long length and spine, and exhale, release your arm. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. If you've enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button. Consider sharing this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon to help keep the channel running. Thank you for sharing your yoga journey with me. I'll see you on the next video.